Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial we will learn how to make this sliding drawer in just few minutes with Autodesk Fusion 360. So let's get started. First of all select the plane and sketch a rectangle. It will be 420 by 420. Then extrude for 12 mm. Create a new component and apply the material. I will select the hook. Then what I want to do is import the runner of the drawer into the, from the library and select the runner, 16 inches, step file and download. Place it, rotate, disassemble and I want to create the component for each body. Remove the last one because we don't really need and place the first component. I use the align command. Align side to side. Then back to the back and bottom to the bottom. And I will ground the component. Now I'm using join command for assemble the other two components. I take this one, join command, central point, with the center of the circle, join command with the slider along the ax uh, x axis. Fix the distance and fix also the limit from 0 to 200. The same process for the uh, third component. Join command, center to center, motion will be slider, define the distance, define the limits from 0 to 200, enter, and this is the result. Mirror command, select all the component, select the mirror plane, enter. Now I want to sketch the front drawer, take a rectangle, constraint with the geometry, project the geometry, collinear constraint, height would be 200 mm, and extrude 12 mm. Create a new component. Apply also the material. Now take the other runner, disassemble and reassemble in the same way of the previous one. Fix the front drawer to the runner using joint command rigid motion e enter and adjust the distance. Now we are ready to create the base of the drawer. Offset from the plane 5 mm, sketch a rectangle, project the geometry. Take the rectangle, this point, to this point, define the distance 20 mm, extrude 10 mm. Again, select the plane, sketch the geometry, project the geometry, take the rectangle from this point to this point, from 
this point to this point, define the distance 10 mm by 10 mm and extrude 130 mm. And finally we close that with the back. Select the plane, sketch the geometry, extrude, new body, 10 mm, enter. Apply the material, and this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video, please comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and contact me for your next project. Thank you so much.